In this video, I'm going to explain what degrees of freedom are. Quite a few calculations in statistics have degrees of freedom, and you'll also see them in some tables like this T distribution table here. Degrees of freedom of an estimate is the number of independent pieces of information that go into calculating that estimate. In order to get those degrees of freedom, you take your sample size and you subtract one. Let's say you were finding the average weight loss for a low carb diet. You could use four people giving three degrees of freedom, or you could use 99 people giving 98 degrees of freedom. The formula is degrees of freedom equals n minus one. n is the number of items in the sample. Why do we subtract one from the number of items? Another way to look at degrees of freedom is that they are the number of values that are free to vary in a data set. What does free to vary mean? Here's an example using the mean or average. Let's pick a set of three numbers that have an average of 10. Some sets of numbers you might pick 9, 10 and 11, or 8, 10 and 12, or 5, 10 and 15. Once you have chosen the first two numbers in the set, the third is fixed. In other words, you can't choose the third item in the set. Let's say I choose 9 and 10 for my first two numbers. The formula for the mean would be 9 plus 10 plus some other number divided by 3 equals the 10 for the mean that I'm looking for. I could have picked any number for my first digit. I could also have picked any number for my second digit. Those were free to vary. But when it comes to choosing the third number, there's only one left. I have no freedom to pick that number. So for a set of three numbers, the third item gets removed from degrees of freedom. 